Wow, Logan, that was a lot of fun. Game one of the finals, the Warriors pulled off 124 to 114 in overtime, uh, came down to the wire. Really highly emotional, highly wrought, intense game. Now, Logan, you wrote about J.R. Smith. He ended up being the man of the night for reasons <laughs> that he did not want. Take us through, you wrote about it, you uh, talked to him in the locker room. Take us through exactly how he was doing after he botched that play with a couple seconds left in the fourth quarter and just what he had to say. Well, he said that he had a, uh, that he knew that the game was tied and that he knew the situation, but he thought that his teammates were gonna call a timeout. Now that's not what it looked like when we watched the game, but that's what he said. What's, uh, what's very noteworthy about this is that Ty Lu said that. He thought it was over. He thought it was over. As he thought we were up one. And uh, there's a lot of, at the very least, there's a little bit of different communication issues with the Cavaliers, and that's what we saw after this game. What were his spirits like? Were he really, was he really down? I mean, obviously we saw LeBron when that happened. He was going crazy, gesticulating, clearly extremely upset. I mean, what, he finished with 51 points, did everything he could to carry the Cavs on the back, and then obviously that happened. Yeah, it was, uh, the, the whole locker room was very somber. When, when it, was, it was a very tense locker room, um, you know, You've seen um, LeBron kind of down, and you've seen a lot of the, this was a waste, a, a missed opportunity for the Cavs. I mean, they definitely had this game in the balance. LeBron was playing incredible. Um, he At one point, he had 18 points on seven of eight shooting in the first half, and that was, it was an incredible display from one of the greatest players of all time. And uh, But it was tense. It seemed like a missed opportunity for the, for the Cavs. There's a lot to discuss. Obviously, Steph Curry uh, had a lot of incredible plays, but something that the Warriors really caught a break on was Klay Thompson. Uh, there was a bit of a scare in the first quarter after he sustained an injury, fell down onto the ground, uh, limped off of the court, went into the locker room. Nobody knew how severe it was. Um, after the game, I talked to him, and he said he will definitely be back for game two. He obviously returned for the second quarter of game one, but he said he's sore, uh, he's in a little bit of pain, but he said he's not going to worsen the injury by playing through it, so he's going to keep going. Um, how catastrophic would it have been for the Warriors if not only Andre Iguodala was out, but Clay too? It would have been pretty bad. I mean, it, it would have been a, a very, uh, it would have sucked for them, let's be honest. Yeah. I think that um, at the moment it looked like it could have been worse. It could have been out of the, for the series. You look at the replays, his, his foot was one way, his leg was the other. It was a pretty nasty injury. And um, I actually talked to, to JR, he thought that you know, it was more, he slipped and he ran into, um, he ran into Clay's knee. And it was very unfortunate for that to happen. And then, um, but fortunately, they'll be fine. And Clay is going to be fine, as fine as you can be in this final series. And you know, we'll see what happens from there. Yeah, we actually asked Clay if uh, he thought JR did that intentionally or if he thought it was an accident. And he said he's going to give him the benefit of the doubt. He thought he didn't try to hurt him. So that's good. There was no drama there. But there was a lot of drama at the end of the game. Uh, Logan, why don't you take us through the, is the word you like to use, kerfuffle? Kerfuffle. It was kerfuffle. a kerfuffle. Kerfuffle. That so happened there was a, <laughs> at the end uh, of overtime. There was a, a late um, a shot from Sean Livingston that, um, that that uh, Tristan Thompson took it took really a bit offense to, and he um, they got into a bit of a kerfuffle um, where that ended with Tristan Thompson at the end of the uh, ejected at the end of the game. And following the game, we, we talked to Tristan, and he was basically saying that it was an unwritten rule that you just don't shoot after after you know the game is in, in is not is not in doubt anymore. And um, he was really offended by that, and he showed that, and he said that uh, that was very unprofessional by Sean Livingston. So. Um, that's kind of where, where the origins from the Cavs locker room. I don't know what, hap what happened in the, uh, the Warriors locker room, but that's what happened from Tristan's point of view. Well, they said this series would be boring. They said there wouldn't be any drama. Clearly, they're wrong. For Logan Murdoch and Melissa Rowland, thanks for watching.